M0FXB, welcome back to the channel. R1 CBU bespoke firmware that you can see on the right hand side is still available for download and there is an update. The version is 0.24.1. I'm going to download it and put this onto an SD card using Rufus. All you do is click the, the zip just here. I'll put the link in the description. Let it download. Then open up Rufus and click select here. You select the SD card and then, let me just move this out of the way, select start and it will go all across and once the green line is full you can grab that SD card and put it into your Zygu and let's go ahead and do that. Okay we have our SD card, remember when you finish this you do have to take it out again, pop it in and I actually advise you connect your power turn it on let it boot so this is version 2.41 I, I this this firmware software is excellent you get the wolf logo there it will actually decode and transmit fta on screen you can you can enable gps and add a gps antenna as well and the scope is to die for now it doesn't take away from the fact that i still enjoy the original zygu firmware but massive massive thanks to r1 cbu for carrying on and, and continuing his work on this on this software. So let's get the antenna connected. I'll get it dimmed down so you can see how nice this actually looks. Okay, let's turn up the volume. The tuner still works as normal. You press tuner. See it there? And you can tune. See the SWR power. You can change your mode just like before. Just pressing the mode button now. It's quite small. It's right at the top there. LSB, you've got CW and AM, FM. Let's try and find some activity. There you go. Sounding good. I'll connect my microphone. And we're just using the internal speaker, which, you know, with the Zygo, it's not a great speaker, but if you add an external speaker, it sounds excellent. Listen to that, it automatically dims, you can change that. As soon as you use it. And then you've got your usual step here. Just the top FST button, AGC, let's try that. AGC, I'll just leave it auto, A and B, so all the original buttons still work, VFO and memory, maybe not, uh, can't really tell, it's been a while since I used it, PTT yet, built in PTT, and if we press the app button, look, you get these options, you've got recorder, QTH, what's that, ooh, actually don't know what that does, but look at that, um, Ah, well that's opened up a whole new menu there. Let's go down, or we change with this button. We're still changing our frequency. Press. So that looks, yeah, that looks, the date looks right actually. Oh, I'm making lots of boo-boos here because I'm not familiar. I backed out by pressing the general button. Press app again, so you've got RT2I, FTA, SWR scan, and GPS. Hit that. And just app. One menu one, menu two, SWR scan as well. Let's run it. Let's go back. Some activity. With the scope, if you press the MFK, you can zoom in and zoom out. Oh, Spectrum Beta, I wonder what that is. Not used that before. Let's go app, let's try the, let's go 7074. And then push F T eight decode. Uh, USB and then app FTA give that a minute see if it populates 
Now you can go in and set the time and stuff like that. But with a bit of luck. That will populate in a second. Wow. And you can let the TX CQ is disabled, but you can enable it. Oh, I haven't put my call sign in. But doesn't it? Just receiving it looks fantastic, doesn't it? Let that run for a bit while it does that. Let's go into the set menu. So you press app here and eventually, oh, they changed it. There it is there at the end, setting. We'll get our call sign in there, let's go call sign. And then we're gonna go M. Oh, why do I keep acting like it's a touch screen? Let me get my keyboard. Actually, let's show you how to do it with the on-screen keyboard. You press MFK. Sorry, it's a bit bright. And you can go across, and if you press at the beginning there, go back to ABC. See ABC here? Right, so we're going to go, we need to delete, which is at the top. Fast forward if it's boring. So, um, right, so, um, and we'll go to numbers. Let me go right to the beginning here. Zero. Definitely fast forward. F, but you plug in a keyboard into the USB-C, it will just start working. I'm doing it the hard way. Don't use QWERTY that much, really. Not on my radio, anyway. Right, okay. Then we go to tick. Call signs in. Press app again. And again, call signs in, press setting. And these are the settings that we can look through. Get your date and time in. MFK knob, just turn it, takes you down through. As it goes, it scrolls down automatically. Button brightness. I don't want that. I would like the time out on the brightness to, to not even exist. But anyway, I'm just going to turn it up for now. I'm sure there's an on-off. But for now... Okay, and how do we go... Oh. Back to settings. You can actually adjust the brightness as well, look. I am pressing... There it goes. Okay, so that's it. Scrolling down. We're pressing and changing with the MFK. So have a little play with that. I will look closer at all this. Look, you can screenshot, record, battery info. So you can decide, I think, what the buttons do. F1, F2. Lot there on recording. Spectrum, auto, all kinds of spectrum. And then, yeah, we talked about a transverter. So if you've got a transverter and you know how to set it up, you can be listening to those 2 metres and 70, was it? And you look at that, it just goes on and on. So anyway, let's just back out. And you saw FTA, we saw F SWR scan, RTTY, AP, GPS. I did that once and you just connect your... GPS antenna and it starts to work. I made a separate video on that so Let's go back to SSB Just got a long wire here I want smaller steps Turn it up It'll get busier later. I've noticed that if it's not busy in the day, it'll get really busy early evening. And then up and down the bands. I think that's enough for now. You get the idea. Have a play. It's free. And big thanks to R1CBU.
Oh, that's a broadcast. Bye for now. Seven.